Well, what's going on everyone? It's a beautiful, gorgeous Sunday afternoon out here at the construction site. Somewhat construction site, I'll say. Running a few bit of equipment there, you know. Just run the old front loader. I did an upgrade to the dozer over there, but uh, that upgrade did not work out too well. I think the motors might have stripped out on it, but what do you expect for a $60 RC toy? <laughs> now the front loader here, if I can actually learn to properly run this thing, it, it has its moments where it shines and it has its moments where it just, it's like, really? This thing should be doing a lot more than what it's doing now. But, you know, these are electric vehicles. They're not hydraulic. So if they were hydraulic, yeah, it might do a little bit better job than what... But they're electric, so... That's what it is. You know, sometimes we have to get what we can afford. Not of or, not all of us can afford, you know, thousand dollar RCs or hundreds of thousand dollars RCs. We just can't do that. You have to buy what you can. And I'm grateful there's companies out there that offer you know, somewhat decent vehicles. Um, you know, the front loader from Tanya or Hunana. It's, it does all right. There are you know, upgrades that you can make to it. You can actually convert it to a hydraulic one. There's a company that actually does that. Uh, is it worth it? By the time you spend on this vehicle and the conversion kit, you're just better off buying a, uh, you know, an, an RC4 drive hydraulic one. But, uh, anyway, yeah, but I definitely, definitely love the, uh, the Excavator. The Excavator is probably one of my favorite vehicles because it does what it actually says it's going to do. Does it pretty well. So the uh, material that I'm laying down right now is called uh, stone dust. It's kind of like really great, like fine, you know, like kitty litter kind of rock just laying down in there. Get another load right there. That's a good bucket load right there. Don't need to overdo it, you know. But uh, let's talk about the channel, which is doing good. I got a few new subscribers over the weekend, so that's good. The uh, the Hala Crawl video I did, a lot of people liked that. And it was good to see that many views and comments I got from it. You know, uh, there's people on Facebook that watched it and people here on YouTube that watched it. It was a great, uh, great video. I definitely had fun in doing part one of the, uh, the video doing the night crawl, which was a lot of fun. It was actually my first time doing a night crawl, Halloween crawl actually. And uh, it, was, it was fun. I had a fun time doing it, and uh, I, I enjoyed doing that. And, you know, I did do the comp, but uh, you know, <laughs> I didn't come in first, and I didn't come in last, so uh, I did all right. You know. But uh, I don't really do comps. It's just you know, it's not my thing. Yeah, I did build a comp rig, but I just don't. I just did it just to, to have one. 
good dirt there. I'm learning how to use this thing correctly. Just gotta learn its uh, its ability. This front loader I'm talking about. Um, but, uh, anyway, but yeah, the Hella Crawl was uh, a lot of fun, and it's good. I've seen that many views on it and all that good stuff, but. Back grade a little bit, spreading it out. So, right now is where I'll be sitting at and running the construction fleet. And that's what I like about the, you know, doing the construction stuff. You can sit there in one area and just uh, run your fleet, you know. And that, to me, that's, that's relaxing and joyful to me. Mm. We didn't get a full load on that one. Got a full load there. Well, somewhat a full load. Let's go back in there for another scoop. Oh, we got some soft sand there. There we go. That's that's a good load, I think, right there. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just a quiet Sunday afternoon back here doing my thing, not bothering anyone. I hope y'all had a great uh, Halloween. Don't do much anymore for Halloween. Don't have any kids down my street to give out candy or anything, so... Nice afternoon. Out here just digging away, working on this. Working on this pile of uh, dirt here that you just uh, stone dust that I got. Working on that, putting it back here. But I do want to say that I am very proud of myself this year because I have been getting in front of the camera a lot more than what I have in the last nine years of being on the channel. And you know, I don't like being in front of the camera. I feel like I'm not the, uh, the kind of person to be in front of the camera, you know, not the, not the prettiest guy or, <laughs> or anything like that. But, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, I just, you know, I have to face the fear and get in front of the camera and talk. And, uh, you know, I've never been a good talker. Even, if, you know, when I was just a little old kid there, I had a, uh, I had a speech impediment. You know, I, I would slur my words bad, like, really bad, where I had to go to speech therapy to learn how to, to pronounce words and talk right and, and all and uh it's kind of hard for me so i really didn't talk that much or anything and uh so i had to learn and then i started speaking and stuff and i still slur my words today even as an adult i still slur my words Mostly when I'm like super excited about something, or or if I'm mad about something, you'll 
I definitely start slurring my words there. Even here on the channel sometimes when I'm talking, I do the same thing. But, uh, you know, like I said, I've been in front of the camera a lot this, this year, and uh, which I'm proud of myself for doing so. Now, some people it comes really natural to be in front of the camera, and other people, like myself, it's not so natural, and you freak out and stuff, and you're like, why are you freaking out about it for? You know, what's the... Why are you, why are you freaking out about it? It's just you and the camera. So yeah, but you know, you gotta think about how many people are gonna be watching so called video. But that's a kind of thing that kind of scares us. But I do it just because, you know, well, I wasn't paying attention there. But I get in front of the camera because there's stuff that I want to talk about. Um, stuff that maybe uh, somebody didn't mention in one of their videos, or I, I found out something about the vehicle that you know, I want to share with you guys. Uh, so I've been doing that. And not only have I been getting on the, you know, in front of the camera on the channel here with doing the reviews and the construction stuff, but I've also been a part of a couple of live uh, chats on YouTube uh, with some uh, channels there that are doing like these live RC web shows and I join with them and uh, just talk to other RCers like myself who are uh, worldwide up in Canada and so on and stuff and it's really cool to meet other R RC enthusiasts like myself and stuff so that's been helping me out. So every time I get in front of the camera and, and stuff, it's really building my, uh, uh, what do you want to say, my uh, my confidence, my self-confidence that I can do this. And there's times I just, I freak out. I'm like, why, do I, why should I do these videos? Why should I even get in front of the camera and stuff? But then I think about, you know, some of my information would help out people. And, you know, I've gotten plenty of people in the, in the past that told me that because of my videos, it helped them buy that vehicle or to know a little bit more about that vehicle. So it's good to hear that. Hey, the front loader is doing pretty good after you know how to kind of operate it. I'm no expert at it, but I I do want to say that I did download a construction simulator on the Xbox One to uh, kind of like I guess learn to learn the vehicles a little bit more and stuff like that. So I've been playing that and. Uh, Pretty much the exact same setup and all. But, yep. Yeah, a lot of people keep asking me, am I planning on getting any, any of the hydraulic RCs? Uh, I would love to love to do that I'd love to get a you know a hydraulic excavator or a bulldozer or front load or stuff like you know you see on uh, Maddox channel there RC adventures and stuff I would love to get that stuff but it's just something about spending five thousand dollars for an RC is just very crazy and uh, you know I'm not able to really afford it I mean I probably could but I had to take out a loan or max out a credit card to do it and I am just not about that <laughs> um, you know, I, yeah I could do it and trust me I have I've thought in a few times to go ahead and bite the bullet kick myself in the butt and do it
see if we can get me another layer there because that was, was kind of weak. But uh, yeah, you know, I just, I just, I can't, I just can't see paying that much for an RC. I mean, the most expensive build I ever done on an RC or the most expensive vehicle was the HC6 from Cross RC. That was a uh, that was a kit build that uh, cost me about right nine hundred dollars to do. I'm just rambling on in this video. Why not? Good to, to chit chat every now and then. We, uh, you know, not just making RC videos and kind of just like you, know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like, uh, being more interactive with you guys, I want to say. Yeah, it's good to do that. A lot of big time, or, you know, big time you know, YouTube producers, YouTubers, don't really do that. They don't really get it, get in front of the camera and, and chat with you guys. They just feel like they put out content. And don't do anything else. They don't return your questions. And uh, I hate that, you know. And I understand you get thousands or hundreds of thousands of comments a day, and it's hard to read all of them when they keep coming in. I get it. But, uh, yeah, I just hate that. But that's definitely not going to come from me. I am definitely not going to be that kind of person. I'll answer back on any questions that you have. It's just a person, you know, type of person I am. I ain't going to leave people hanging and stuff like that. Now, I might have done it in the past years, but that's before I knew. <laughs> uh, I think that's before I even knew time that you know, before smartphones were out you know I didn't have a way to tell you know, if I had an email until I got home and checked it and stuff like that <laughs> that's a good load right there no front letter I am getting this place covered up really good. All right, my friends. Well, it's about you know 19 minutes in this video. I rambled enough and taken up a lot of you guys' time, but uh, if you watched the video, thanks for watching. I know it's pretty long. Sometimes I just I forget myself I'm talking all that. But anyway, I hope y'all have a great rest of the day, and I uh, hope that your work week and school week it goes great and stuff. And, uh, yeah, well, my friends, I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.